Well, hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Backroads with you. We're here in the Ozarks Backroads World Headquarters garage today. Got a real treat today. It's a special day for me. We've got a new bike in the garage. We finally got the uh, bike we've had our deposit on for the last several months. And this is it here. We've got a uh, 2023, it's a CF Moto uh, 800. Uh, they call it an Ibex 800T. Uh, it's more commonly known as an 800 MT in the rest of the world. It's been out uh, almost two years now in uh, other parts of the world, uh, Europe, Australia, Asia, everywhere but uh, North America. But this year they've brought it to North America and in early April uh, they started showing up at dealerships and I was able to get a hold of mine. We'll take a look at the spec. We'll talk a little bit about CF Moto and who they are and uh, the components in this bike and why in the hell did I buy a, a CF Moto motorcycle? Well, we'll talk about it and I'll tell you why I did. Well, we'll start with the, the good stuff here, the powertrain on this bike. This is the, uh, the KTM LC8, the 790 engine. It's a, well, it's actually 799 cc's, but it comes in the 790 uh, Adventure and the 790 Duke. Uh, this motor was in those. Uh, KTM has reintroduced the 790 Adventure for 23 and uh, CF Moto is building the engine again for those as well as the as their own bikes. This motor here. This motor comes off of the same line, production line, as the KTM engines. The only difference between this motor and what you'll get in a uh, KTM 790 Adventure is the side cover says CF Moto on uh, CF Moto's bikes and this will say KTM on the KTM engines. Other than that, they come off the same line at the same factory. There's no difference in them. KTM engineering on these motors. These have been very good uh, engines. K, uh, CF Moto has built these for KTM for quite a few years now and they've proven to be a very good uh, power plant. So that was a big uh, factor for me in uh, purchasing this bike. I know that it's got a good uh, reliable engine from a good source. So the entire design, engineering and design on this motorcycle was done by the uh, Kiska Group, which is the same uh, design firm that does all the KTM uh, in, uh, motorcycles. They've done them since 1992. Kiska has done all of KTM's bikes. They did this bike as well. So there's no, no real big surprise here that the frame dimensionally is exactly the same as a uh, KTM uh, 790 Adventure frame was or is. Uh, the materials used are different. The frame is heavier on this bike. KTM uses very light materials. That's kind of their thing, you know, light and fast. The tubing on this, the Molly steel or Molly steel tubing is thicker, it's heavier, and the frame is quite a bit heavier. It adds uh, some weight to the bike. The bike's about 500 pounds uh, uh, wet, so I don't know what the KTM Adventure, I don't remember, but it's probably down around uh, uh, 430 or 40 pounds so it's quite a bit heavier and a lot of that is due to the frame uh, being made out of heavier materials but uh, as far as dimensions of the frame uh, the geometry of the front end is exactly the same we have the same 26.4 degrees of rake in the front end and the trail is the same I don't remember now what it is but it's four point something inches I'm sure probably around uh, 110 or so uh, millimeters. Uh, the, the rear swing arm back here is uh, different than the KTM, but it is uh, the same length and the same straight design as the KTM. Uh, it's just an aluminum uh, swing arm, just made a little differently, but uh, it's probably heavier. I'm sure it's not uh, as light as the KTM swing arm would have been. So as far as the suspension goes on the bike, we've got uh, KYB front forks and rear shock, uh, which is, of course, Japanese. You find that on a lot of Japanese bikes. Very good uh, 
uh, suspension. It's fully adjustable, 43 millimeters, uh, compression rebound and uh, preload adjustable on the front. Uh, we've got about six and a half inches of uh, travel, so it's not a, uh, a real uh, high travel suspension, but it's about, it's a little more than uh, you'd find on the V-Strom 650. Uh, it's good enough. We're not going to go uh, jumping logs and uh, crashing through a rock forest, so I think that's good enough for me. The brakes, we've got uh, J1 uh, brakes on it uh, on uh, 320 mil uh, discs up front here. These are four pot brakes. Uh, if you don't know, J1 is owned by Brembo. J1 is a Spanish company that's been around for a very long time. You find J1 brakes on a lot of uh, European bikes and uh, they're pretty good. Radio mounted and it's got really good brakes on it. I'm pretty happy with those. So the rear shock here We'll take a look at it. It's also a KYB unit. It is uh, preload adjustable and rebound adjustable. And I don't believe it is compression. Uh, uh, there's an adjustment for the compression uh, dampening, but uh, the shock seems to be really good from, from uh, what little I've rode it so far. And of course, all of the uh, hundreds of videos I've watched on this bike in the last year and a half or so, People say the suspension is really good on it, and I, as far as I can tell, it's, that's probably the case. One thing to note here on the rear suspension, the shock mounts directly to the swing arm on top of it, just like the KTM 790 Adventure. Uh, there's, no, there's no drag link hanging down below the bike down here underneath the bike. Uh, to get hung on stuff. It, it, there is no drag link. The shock mounts directly to the, the rear swing arm. So the bike is pretty much just flush across the bottom. It does have a center stand down here that hangs down just a little bit, but uh, it's well worth it to me. Uh, I have to have a center stand. I like to be able to clean and, and uh, do chain maintenance uh, when I'm out on the bike, uh, out traveling. Why? Well, uh, I can use the center stand and do that. So no drag link on the, uh, on the rear shock hooks directly to the swing arm. So the bike has um, a 19 inch wheel up front, 17 in the back. Uh, the E07 Plus, the Metos tires that I've put on here uh, did not come on it. It came with uh, the Maxxis, uh, Max Venture tires. They're more street than this, but I want to get out on some gravel and I like to have uh, pretty decent tires for that kind of work. They're tubeless. We've got spoked, uh, spoked wheels, but they're tubeless. Uh, they're the exact same wheels that come on the 790 Adventure. Uh, same brand and same design, uh, different size, but they are tubeless. The, tire, uh, the bike also has uh, tire pressure monitoring on it, so you can see your tire pressures on the dash when you're going down the road. That's kind of a nice feature. Here on the front of the bike, we've got full LED lighting. We have a daytime running light right here. And then we have, we have uh, fog lights already built in on the bike. And those can be um, turned on and off at will. So the high and low beam, both lights burn all the time on high and low. You don't have that one-eyed uh, effect going on like you do on some motorcycles. The built-in fog lights are really nice. Uh, they really light up the ground out uh, on either side of you and out in front of you at night. They work pretty good. We have full LED uh, turn signals as well and brake lights are LED. That's nice. I don't have to put any LED bulbs uh, in this bike. It's, they're already there. We'll take a look at the cockpit here. Um, some of the things we get with the bike, we have cruise control right here uh, built in. Uh, the bike also comes with a quick shifter, which is really nice and it does work good. I've never had a bike with a quick shifter before, but that one works pretty good. We have the heated grips uh, and also a heated seat 
which will uh, just about set your rear end on fire. I used that the other day riding in the cold weather and the, the seat really works good. The, the grips work good as well. About, uh, there's three settings. About the middle setting for me was just about right. The bike also has a steering damper. We'll get a picture of that. But down in uh, below here, we've got a, a, uh, a shock type damper. We've got a seven inch TFT, uh, really nice TFT display here. So you get a lot of information here. Pretty much everything um, that you need is on the main uh, on the main screen here your outside temperature your trip all of your warning lights and indicators you got a uh, gear position indicator the ride mode you're in your water temperature and fuel and then we can go to another uh, screen here an information screen and uh, it'll give us our battery voltage and some more stuff we have our tire pressure monitoring uh, right here, it'll give us our tire pressure and temperature on both uh, tires. We got range to empty. Uh, there's just a lot of information here, and there's more stuff. I don't want to go through all of it, but uh, if you like to play with uh, with that kind of stuff, there's quite a bit of it to look at, and you can modify it. The bike, uh, of course, it has Bluetooth navigation. You can Bluetooth your phone. Uh, via the uh, CF Moto Ride app, and you can have navigation. Uh, also, uh, you can download your own uh, firmware updates for the bike. It's had a couple since it was released already. Uh, they fixed the uh, the throttle mapping. The the fuel mapping was a little jerky. They've they've ironed that out with uh, with two of the uh, the firmware updates. And also, I believe the quick shifter maybe didn't work as good as it could have when it first came out, but they've got that working really slick right now. So if they have more firmware updates, uh, I'll be able to do that. I won't have to take it to the dealer to, uh, to have them flash the bike. I can do that right here from, uh, from the mobile app. So that's pretty nice. The bike takes a regular key. That's a big deal for me. I don't like electric fobs electronic fobs, I want a key, uh, and as well as the fuel tank, just exactly like what you would expect on the fuel tank. Key and the lid lifts up, so that's really nice. Uh, the mirrors are fine, I, I don't have a problem with them. Uh, they work good, I can see well behind me. I get just a little bit of my uh, my elbow right in here on the insides of them, but that's kind of the way it needs to be. That's the way it always is. So this bike is built to a price point. It's very competitively priced. Uh, there is no other bike that has the features uh, and the spec of this bike for the money that you can buy this bike for. Uh, there's, there's just nothing else out there that even comes close. Uh, one thing I did want to note here that I forgot to mention earlier, the fuel injection and the ABS on this bike are, uh, are Bosch, are by Bosch, uh, the same Bosch unit that KTM uses. And really, you'd be hard pressed to find a motorcycle today with, with electronic fuel injection that is not Bosch fuel injected. Uh, they pretty much have the, the market cornered on that. I, I haven't seen one in a long time that wasn't Bosch. And this one's the same way. Uh, the ABS also is by Bosch. And also there is no traction control with this bike. You don't get uh, a bunch of different uh, traction control modes that you can play with. Uh, you can, you've got ABS and, uh, and, and a couple of uh, ride modes and that's pretty much it. So it's kind of a bare bones uh, on, as far as rider aids. It's better than the Tenere 700, but uh, not by much. You know, buying a bike from a, a Chinese uh, company might seem a little nuts, but uh, CF Moto's been around a while. They've been around since about eight, uh, 1989. They've pretty much got the market sewn up on ATVs and UTVs in Europe, and uh, they're really coming on strong here in the United States as well. Uh, they sell a lot of those. They know a little something about uh, building uh, engines. They've been doing it for a lot of different companies for uh, quite a few years now. They've got a lot of uh, motors under their belt. They know what they're doing. CF Moto and KTM have a joint venture 
in uh, China. It's, the, it's a joint company and it's called KTM R2R. And KTM sells their bikes. CF Moto sells KTM's bikes for them in Asia uh, through this company called KTM R2R. Uh, CF Moto owns 51% of that company and uh, KTM owns 49%. So that allows CF, uh, KTM to sell their bikes in China duty free because uh, CF Moto owns the the majority uh, share of the company, they don't have to pay any import uh, tariffs or anything. They can sell their bikes in China uh, uh, just like a, a domestic uh, manufacturer would there in China. So that's why they've done that. And then likewise in uh, Europe and most other places or a lot of other places, um, KTM sells CF Moto motorcycles uh, the same way. Uh, so they have a partnership it works for both of them and then cf moto builds a lot of engines for ktm and other people that's primarily what they started out doing and uh, they've built a lot of motors for a lot of different uh, uh, manufacturers a lot of european manufacturers use uh, cf moto uh, manufactured engines in their motorcycles so i'm not terribly concerned about reliability i think it's going to be uh, okay on this bike. From all the information I've been able to uh, gather over the last couple of years uh, on this bike and uh, CF Moto in general, I think I'm going to be okay. We're going to uh, load this bike up here in a, a month or so, six weeks. We'll put everything I own on it. We'll take it out west. Uh, we'll ride it out from uh, south, uh, south central Missouri here. We'll, we're going to ride out to Arizona and then go up through Utah and Colorado and spend some time in that area. So that should be interesting uh, to take a big trip on a Chinese motorcycle. Uh, what could go wrong? You know, it should be fine. I invite you all to come back and see me. Uh, we've got uh, some adventures to get going on with this uh, CF Moto. We'll do some camping trips here in the Ozarks or down in Arkansas perhaps before we head out, uh, out west on it. Uh, kind of get the bike broke in. I got to get the first service done on it. Make sure all of my gear is going to uh, mount up and, uh, and travel well the way it needs to. So we'll do a couple of camping trips before I head out. So come back and see me. We'll put this uh, CF Moto through its paces and see if it's any good or not.